Okay, so I totally um, closed the video because <laughs> you know what's funny? I was I was making fun of my mom earlier, but I don't I don't know how to do any of this video technology, so I gotta learn how to stitch some videos together. <laughs> But, um, I finally gave up of trying to record myself on my phone while opening up a Facebook page. Because that just, that just wasn't gonna work. So, I pulled up my old Facebook. And my computer is very slow. Um, it's from 2014, the year I graduated. So it's six years old. It's older than one of my nephews. Um, you know? Yeah, okay. I have two main, main coming out posts. One was made, um, it's funny, it was right around this time. One was made on March 29th, 2018. And I said, I am officially phasing this account out. I'm a trans woman. And I'm currently in the process of my physical transition. If you love me and respect me and still want to be a part of my life, then feel free to add me on my new account. Otherwise, I don't want you in my life. Sincerely, Elizabeth Rose Elrod. After that, um, I guess I made another post that night. I think people were still, they, they were still messaging me on my old account, and I was just, I was just over it. And so I said, this is my last post, um, as this person. I won't accept friend requests. I won't reply to messages. And I won't respect you if you don't respect me. If you want to reach me, add me. My name is Elizabeth Rose Elrod. This person is no more. And I, like I said, I didn't delete the account, but I haven't made a post since. It has remained the same way. Um... It has, it has remained the same way that it was two years ago. So, um, this is right around the time that I came out. So, I think that it's really, it, it's funny that, um, I came out on Trans Visibility Week because... <laughs> I didn't even know it was Trans Visibility Week. <laughs> um, so I thought that was that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. So that's how I came out. I called my grandma um, after after being being begged by my aunt to tell my grandma. Um, because she said, you know, I, we are all trying not to tell her. We, we know that it's you, it's your job to tell her. And I agreed with her. I said, yeah, I do want to tell her. Um, I wrote, I wrote a long speech about what I was going to say to her. Um, and I got her on the phone and I said, this is really hard. So I wrote out what I was going to say. And so this is it. And I told her I explained gender dysphoria. I explained everything that was going on. And completely different reaction than my mom had. This is um, my dad's mother. And she said, I would never disown you, honey. I love you. You're my grandchild. <laughs> and she's been so wonderful. 
I don't know what I would do without her. She's been so amazing throughout this entire time. She asks me how my hormones are going. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> no, they're going fine. I've just, I've gained like 50 pounds, but it is what it is. I'm still happier. And when I requested to, I, I got my photos professionally taken and I asked her if I could, if I could give her photos of me as Elizabeth. And she said, well, sure. <laughs> you know, she's got that thick Appalachian accent. And she replaced the pictures of me as a boy with the pictures of me now in her living room. And she's just been amazing, you know. She occasionally will misgender me. Um... And she still uses the nickname that is associated with my dead name. But I'll take it. She's in her 80s, you know. And she has like, she has like eight grandchildren and great-grandchildren, like all together. So I'll take it. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's a, there's a happy mining, um, for my story, and there is for everyone's story. Even if your family doesn't accept you, there are people out there who do. You know, this was, this has all been kind of hard for me to open my private life to the world, but I think it's needed in a time like this because we are feeling so more distant from each other than I think we ever have even though in a way to me this is kind of already what's been going on you know we've been we've been sheltering ourselves from each other so I think in this in this time that it's important to to be vulnerable and it's important to to tell each other how we feel and be honest but even if your family still is having trouble like my mother is still having trouble you're still wanted you're still loved just know that if you need someone to talk to, I'm still here for you. My offer will always stand. Please look me up on social media. Find me on Instagram. Find me on Facebook. Um, on Facebook, I'm Elizabeth Rose Elrod. On Instagram, I, um, my Instagram name is Liz, L-I-Z, Elrod, E-L-R-O-D, 2-3. So, I'm easy to find. Or, just send me a private message here on YouTube. But, just know that you're not alone. And, I wish I could take it away. I wish I could take away the pain and the hurt. Unfortunately, sometimes you have to figure it out. But, if you ask... People will help. I know I will. So, this episode went a little longer than I intended, but I think it was for a good reason. So, thank you for listening to this chapter of my story. I hope to share many more with you in the future. Take care. Goodbye.